Today we have the best two teams from the mixed team tournament. On the affirmative side, we have Avada Kadavra.
they talk to government. We believe there are two groups in the state, government and the citizens. And there are two ways that government can actually respond to the crime. Um, first is preventing crime offering, second is addressing the crime to the public out there. And, and then reacting to it. And we believe that first up, first option is used for this case of the big body. And we believe that the big body is one of our tools to secure safety, just like the indicators that I mentioned, which is gender and age. And to go over to the nature of crime, um, it is related to social and economic issues. Crime was about fairness and equality in society. And because the government let these kind of inequality exist in the society, crime offers. And it is the government's responsibility to resolve these problems. And we believe that people like this one method to prevent it. So, why is the big problem just a tool? It is just a platform to the government's use, such as the human property. Every property is based on evidence and objective information and is not by for instance, in New York City, 2009, there was a report by New York Times that 80% of government was done by the black, and 70% of government was also, and 25% of government was also white. Also, according to the previous Hispanic Research Center, Latinos accounted for 40% of all federal offenders and 80% of every million of this report is Hispanic. And these two numbers, the sample show that the fact that every problem is actually just a tool that which is, which is not biased and has uh, effect. And we believe that I think profile is just a tool that to add a main government responsibility. It is not that profile that it comes along and as security and security, but the government is government responsibility to the security and security of the thing that think profile is a good tool that actually helps the government. And to go over the second second argument that is that is more efficient than other methods. This argument goes down to two levels. First level is about the resources and second level is about the country to the other methods that already exist. So first um, level is that because of the liberal use of resources such as money and manpower, we need to narrow down the range of the suspects that we want to help. And we believe that hip hop is the most important for it. Firstly, we can't just check and believe people that are in this whole world. So basically what we're saying is that we need to narrow it down to certain groups that say to crime uh, come in more times than there are and we are showing that at, at, at the previous point. At the previous point. That uh, so certain groups need to come in more times. Basically, going on, um, creating a different society. What we are doing it in 
order to clear that crime, you're not going out and saying, because I think you're racist or you're against something. Yes, but ethnic profiling means that you're going to... Because, as I mentioned, was the certain, certain statistics show that there are no um, groups of groups of identities that come in more crime. And that is true, why should we want?
start taking this group, people who start taking it and oh yeah, I don't have you must implement the change that all those black people still are still at the level. Let's stay away from them. They start to get isolated. They start to get uh, insensible with the site around them. You prevent this ethnic minority from getting with the site that allows you to prosper, to grow.
Yeah, we are. You said that there's going to be party and not and party and not like this one. Right now, because we, uh, because all of us have been uh, subjected to stop and searches 
at certain points in our time. My belief means it's own Buddhist, and this directly ties into our argument later. Therefore, according, we believe that because we are fighting crime, which is for the benefit of these ethnicities as well, they will be grateful to you as well because you're fighting crime, which is for the benefit of all. Why do people resent it if you fight crime using a minor means? The second argument about the self fulfilling prophecy. If you believe that's going to be more crimes, then that's going to be more crimes. So don't carry out random searches, ladies and gentlemen, because you believe that everyone can be a terrorist. By that logic, everyone will be a terrorist. These are very fancy ideas, ladies and gentlemen, but they have no place in the real world, which is why we think that vote for the pragmatic side, vote for the team of Even though they are trained, there is no means that 
they could reduce the crime. They are not permitted, and also, even though they get trained, because they get trained earlier, they get trained later, that means that they don't really know about the information what they're doing. And the second point, they have said governments have responsibility to protect citizens. Protect. Why is protect the We're respecting the citizens, enriching, enriching these people's rights by asking to change them and getting having profiling like is not protecting the citizens, ladies and And they were keep saying that they were, they were believing the statistics, statistics, ladies and Statistics are, are biased, ladies and gentlemen. It is not always the credible information. They're written with their own perspectives. And also, not all the crimes are reported in that situation, ladies and gentlemen. How many crimes do you have to in the world? There are a bunch of crimes happening in the world. However, the few things are the reported in the statistics, ladies and gentlemen. So, to move on to my our two arguments, which was that why is it ineffective and why, what impact does it give to the society? To move on to my our first point, why is it ineffective? We're saying that it is ineffective because of those crimes, and there, there's no possibility to get, catch those crimes. Ladies and gentlemen, those criminals are good or fantastic at avoiding those kinds of situations. They're running from the police in Beijing. They're going to hide, they're going to disgrace themselves, they're going to, they're going to do plastic surgery, they're going to change their faces to not get caught from those police in Beijing. Even though also, if you say that they're using, they're using those light detectors, do you really think that they're, that's going to work? No, because they're also because to not get caught, they're trained now not to bump their hearts when they're actually checking ladies and gentlemen. They're not going to reveal the truth when they're actually get caught and they profile ladies and gentlemen. And also, focusing on just minorities, do you really think that it will also it will, it will to reduce the crimes? No, actually it is increasing the crimes because just focusing on minorities, crime criminals in majorities it will increase. Why? Because what government thinking is that by ethnic profiling of minorities, they could catch it. However, they're not thinking about the criminal in the majority of the And to move on to my second point, which was what impact does it give to society? Re stereotypes, racism, and discrimination. It, is in, it increases by this ethnic, ethnic profiling. How? Because, because those are those people are innocent people. We are making a bad image. We are making a negative image about those people because of that thing for running ladies and gentlemen. In Slovakia, for example, if there are those like those Central Europe, those Roma people, they're just like moving and working. However, because they still something in Central Europe, those people who dislike those Roma people because they, they have a bad image and they have a stereotype that they're going to do that, do that action, ladies and gentlemen. And also, also uh, the second point is that self-fulfilling prophecy. For example, if person A is the one who is in the, in the ethnic minority group, because other people look at, look at this person A as a criminal, this, a, this person A also feels that he's this also feels that this guy is a criminal because everyone's looking at these people, everyone's looking at these people as this as a criminal agent. So what have I mentioned today, ladies and gentlemen? I talked about ineffectiveness and that ineffectiveness because we cannot actually catch the we cannot actually catch the criminal because they're going to hide anyway, they're going to change and everything, they're going to use any every method to actually hide from the police. And the second point, which is that it will not gonna reduce the crime, it will, it will not reduce the crime because just focusing on minorities. And the second point I mentioned was the impact on the society, which was that ethnic profiling uh, it actually makes the stereotype and the and the racism and discrimination. It enhances it enhances everything. Uh, and the second point was so fully focusing because of this reason we go to the Thank you.
that have not been in this debate for both A and Alpha. They spit out their stats, 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 numbers, numbers, and numbers. We agree, statistics are meaningless without numbers, context, and analysis. However, both Danny and Alpha have pointed out that there is a strong correlation between ethnicity and crime. And for that reason, these statistics do matter, and this voting machine is shifted to the further side. Now, the second voting machine in class that I found in today's debate is efficacy or the effectiveness of ethnic profiling as defined by Danny. Now, we believe that this voting machine is shifted to the further side because of one reason, magnitude, and um, what well, magnitude? Because, because our policy of ethnic profiling is encompassing on two levels, short term and long term. In the first term, I've explained by Danny that it, it combats the roots of trouble. Um, and on the second level, that it directly prevents crime and is a uh, relevant uh, reaction to, to many different barriers of crime, such as terrorism and such as gang crime. Now, um, because we are proving that current practice don't work, I say it by my second group of speaker, Ahmed, and my first group of speaker, Danny, and more importantly, that uh, we, the current side today has proved that ethnic profiling in our definitions does reduce the likelihood of crime in the long run, um, such as their education programs. But even if this weren't the case, even if, um, although it is the case, ethnic profiling is not reduced by the likelihood of crime in the long run, this current side has won this debate because we've proven that ethnic profiling in our definition is efficient in catching criminals and effective in enhancing national security. Now, um, I'd like to point out that us, Father Cadabra, the third side, believe that fighting crime is more than just police presence or increasing police presence. Therefore, it is unreasonable for the negative side or anyone else to limit the third side or this debate to just increasing police presence. The third side made this a legitimate definition and thus a legitimate debate. And um, for, this, for this reason, both sides of the argument have been here. Now, before closing my speech, I'd like to say one last thing. The people that are very far, the people that are very far, the people that are very far, the people that are
why they're not legalizing and um, say it's say it's justifiable under uh, the cover name of ethnic profiling. Um, do you believe that we need to fight crime in different ways without discriminating citizens of our country because we want, we want to protect these citizens? We don't want to. Um, we want don't want to ethnically profile them because we think that.